And communities in Mississippi have been left completely decimated after Friday night's deadly tornado outbreak. And thousands are now in need of help as FEMA has been helping on the ground since before the storms hit. And joining us now is FEMA Community Preparedness Director Aaron Levy. Aaron, thanks for being with us. I know this is a busy time. Can you talk about maybe some of the unique challenges that your team is facing right now? Craig, Kendall, thanks for having me. First and foremost, I've been in emergency management for my entire professional career, and the damage we're seeing on the ground in Mississippi is catastrophic. As you said, Craig, we've been down there since before the storm hit, and as soon as, as, soon as the sun came up the next day, we sent additional personnel. And what's happening right now is we have disaster survivor assistance teams on the ground. They're going to those shelters in the, in the impacted areas and registering people for assistance. And if folks on the ground haven't seen those disaster survivor assist team, assistance teams yet, I would strongly encourage you, whether you have insurance or you're uninsured, to call 1-800-621-3362 or go to www.disasterassistance.gov to register. And Aaron, like you mentioned, you have so many teams spread out across the South. Uh, how many teams would you say personnel-wise are we looking at? Because we know so many communities were just devastated. Well, what I can assure your viewers, Kendall, and the people of Mississippi and the South is that FEMA has the the personnel that we need to render the assistance um, be, with our federal partners and with all of those community organizations active on the ground. I have every confidence on behalf of the administrator, on behalf of President Biden. The president directed the administrator and the whole of the federal community, the whole of the federal family to use every possible resource. And that's what you're seeing there from the disaster survivor assistance teams that I mentioned before to our personnel who are embedded with Governor Reeves in Mississippi um, to make sure that the governor and his team are getting every possible resource they can from the federal government so we can help the people of the impacted areas jumpstart their recovery. And Aaron, you mentioned you've got some teams on the ground and they should be looking for them. Are they wearing specific um, shirts or something to identify what they look like? And when can people start seeing relief, do you think? Craig, absolutely. So that's a great question. So for your viewers, you could see me, hopefully see my FEMA shirt. So we want to make sure that we're protecting disaster survivors, helping to protect them from waste, fraud, and abuse. So those FEMA personnel, they're going to have FEMA attire on, a shirt or a hat. And I would strongly also encourage folks to ask to see some identification. What I'm confident of is we are already providing assistance on the ground. That's including partnering with our uh, with the American Red Cross and so many communities community-based organizations, such as the ones you highlighted earlier in your show at the top of the hour. But what I would say is this is going to be a long-term recovery mission. We are going to be there when the cameras are gone. We're going to be there to make sure that this community is able to rebuild, and they're able to rebuild stronger than before. One of the things that the administrator and Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas commented on when they were there this past weekend was just the resilience of this community, an underserved community that wants to be there, they want to rebuild, we're seeing neighbors helping neighbors, and we're gonna be there with the entire federal family for the long haul. And Aaron, I think you said it best right there. This is going to be a long road to recovery, but hopefully these communities that have been impacted can build back better than before. FEMA Community Preparedness Director Aaron Levy, we appreciate your time joining us on Fox Weather and for all that you and your colleagues do over at FEMA. FEMA. And for more information and ways to help, you can visit FEMA.gov. An incredibly important mission, Craig. Yeah, thank you. And they'll be there, like you said, right after the cameras are gone. Mm -hmm. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.